yesterday i had posted this question on my facebook page and some people asked me to make one video on this question because they are not satisfied that answer is right answer of this question as you can see over here this is this is confusing just explain why two bits are reserved in class b address we want to know many comments like this are there in this in the comment you can check right so today in this video i will make you understand how option a is the right answer of this question and definitely if you watch this video till the end you will understand option a is right okay and you will feel you will be satisfied so let me explain you one thing first what is the range of ip address in class so class a for class a range is range is 0 to 127 for class b for class b range is 128 to 191 and for class c for class c range is 192 to 223 223 guys understand how ip address is divided into this range how ip address is divided into this range so how long ipv4 address is 32 bits long right total bits in ip address is 32 bits right 32 bits right that is this 32 bits are divided into four octet right four octet and each octet carry eight bits right so let me talk about first octet only let me talk about first octet only you don't need to focus on this third octet okay so what happens if the all bits of first octet will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 what will be the decimal value for for this binary is 0 and what will be the maximum value if all bits are 1 then value will be 255 right so in class a there is one bit reserved in class a let me explain you here in class a okay if i reserve one bit one bit at zero okay one bits at zero how many rest bits are there seven bits so if i put seven rest seven bits as a zero host bits so two four six and seven what will be the decimal value zero what will the maximum value for class a right one 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 what four six seven so what will be the value value is 127 you will get 127 so that's the reason the range is from 0 to 127 for class a why because one bit are reserved for class a that is zero in the same way for class b in the same way for class b two bits are reserved first bit is one and second bits are zero if you if you convert this binary into decimal you will get 127 okay you can check it for class b if i if i reserve two bits first bit is one and second bit is zero so how many bits are how many rest bits are there six bits so if i put six times zero over here four six what will we what the value will we will get the value we will get over here is 128 right when we when we uh, convert this binary one zero 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 two four six eight into decimal you will get value 128 right so um, if i reserve two bit so minimum value is two bits if i reserve two bits one and zero then the minimum value will be 128 and what will be the maximum value one 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 six times one so what will be the decimal value decimal value will be 191 if you convert one zero one two three four five six times one into decimal if you convert this this binary into decimal you will get 191 so that's the reason the range of class b is start from 128 and end with 191 because two bits are reserved 
two bits are reserved one and zero in the same way for class c for class c there are three bits are reserved one one and zero first three bits are reserved so how many rest bits are there five bits so if i put five times zero here then we, you will get the value of 192 that is 128 plus 64 192 plus 64 because two bits are one and rest bits are zero rest bits are host bits right and what will be the maximum value to add this value you will get 190 uh, sorry 128 here 128 plus 64 you will get value 192 right and what will be the maximum value for class c put all the rest bits as one so you will get value two two three so that's the reason that's the reason the range of class c is a start from 192 and end with two two three so if i talk about how many network bits are there in class a so you will say seven how many network bits are three right so seven network bits are three definitely you are right there are eight network bits but one network bits are reserved first bits are reserved right that is that will always zero you can't put one over here right for class c two bits are reserved you can't change these bits one and zero you can't change these bits right this this, this these bits are reserved right for class c one one and zero are reserved three bits are reserved so how many network bits in class c 24 minus three that means 21 network bits are three right so that you can change right for class b total network bits are 16 or and two bits are reserved so minus two that means 14 so 14 network bits are there and how many how many host host bits are there total ip address is 32 bits uh, so two bits are reserved right so 30 and 14 bits are network bits so 16 so 16 bits are host bits for class b so so right answer of this question is right answer of this question is a right answer of this question is a okay so option a is the right answer hope guys now uh, it's clear to you now it's clear to you so how many network bits are there in class a seven network bits and 24 host bits for class b 14 network bits and 16 host bits for class c 21 network bits and 16 host bits fine oh so, sorry 16 no 8 8 host bits clear so right answer of this question is exactly a right exactly a a is the right answer of this question okay